All right, so let's talk about open source. Now that we've got personal branding out of the way. Open source is something you should be involved in. Open source is kind of a tricky subject in terms of ethics and morals. Some people think that once you go open source, you have to act or be a certain way. Whatever that is, let's just put it this way. If your code is anywhere on the internet right now, on the web, it better have your name and contact information in it. If it doesn't, go redownload it, put your name and email address and or blog in there. Just do it. Part of my career started from putting my name and email address in my code. People would use it, have a positive reaction, and that positive reaction was associated with my name. My name was in email address and contact, and I would get jobs from it, right? So you need to be involved in open source for that reason. Uh, get involved. Get, get a presence like, oh, he's involved in that project, right? People are impressed that you're taking your spare time to contribute to a project to better software, the world, your company, right? Uh, releasing code in your blog forms and email really makes you perceived as an expert. <clears throat> and if people are critical of that, it shows that you're, oh, like on your blog, for example, it shows that you're capable of taking constructive feedback and negative people bashing you, right? You can professionally react to that. That's a really good thing to, to project yourself as an expert, right? So putting code out on anywhere, helping people, you know, answer that. And that's technically a form of open source. You're taking some free code and give it to them for free. Speaking at industry events, again, going back to it, don't just attend events. You should never go to conferences unless it's really out of your, your sphere of, you know, comfortability. You should always be speaking at conferences. I don't care who you are. If you know something, go speak about it. Um, that's, that's open source, right? Sometimes you could have an open source project you would talk about, and that's cool too. And the same goes for online events, like a Royal Balkan's uh, Singularity. You, you can speak online, that counts. So why would you go, here, here's an example of why open source. These are quotes, okay, that I got from people online. I had this exact same problem, looked on Google, and bam, there was your blog with a solution. I love you. How is that not hot for my personal brand? Clients are like, do people really appreciate all that code you do? Uh, check out this comment on my blog, or maybe 50 of them, right? That's wonderful resume material. You want some references? Here you go. And I swear I didn't edit it, right? Uh, this code is exactly what I needed for my project. Well, I'm glad I contributed to your project, and I'm sure there's a lot of other people just like you. That's awesome, right? It's a great feeling. You just taught me a new approach to that problem. I'm teaching people by releasing code. I'm making the world a better place. That's fantastic, right? Your code causes people to love you. When you create code and you release it on the web and it contributes and works in some way, people use that, have a positive experience, and that positive experience is associated with you, with your personal brand. That's how open source helps you. 